Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I've got another uh, character guide for you for uh, Triangle Strategy. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at Anna. Uh, I really like Anna, uh, one of my favorite characters in the game. Um, she's she she honestly she stays good or she starts out good and and basically you know ends up staying good the entire game. Uh, and and kind of at the end of the game, she's she's actually pretty broken uh, because of the uh, the evasion stat. Um, so, uh, let's start out with her stats. Uh, so, 54 strength, pretty middle of the road. She's actually, she's not that strong, to be completely honest, and she doesn't do that much damage with her, um, with her dagger. Uh, you can see here, and that's, that's the real problem. It's not that she's got low strength, right? It's because her dagger damage just isn't that great. Only 113. Um, and, and, so she's just not really gonna be, you know, packing that much of a punch, but... Uh, what she doesn't have in damage, she makes up for in utility. So, uh, physical defense, pretty good too. Middle of the road, magic attack is terrible. Um, you know that, which which makes it so that you know whenever she's throwing items, she's not really going to be doing that much damage with them. Um, and then her magic defense is passable. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, luck thirty one. I don't know. This is okay, but. Uh, the good thing about Anna is, because of her uh, take cover ability, it's actually pretty easy for her to get behind enemies and just get automatic crits anyway. So, um, the luck stat isn't all that important. Uh, her accuracy is okay. Uh, it could be better, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, and then where she really starts to shine, though, is her speed. She is incredibly fast. Uh, one of the fastest characters in the game. You know, Kohog is, is up there as well, but... Um, she, she, she might be number two, uh, and that's, you know, th 31 without, uh, any sort of accessories to help her out. Uh, and then evasion. So, uh, Anna is one of four characters that have amazing evasion endgame. Um, now, I have, uh, or I've given her ten, basically, extra evasion because of the evasion bracelets, and that really is because at the end of the game, evasion actually is really, really good. Uh, at the beginning of the game, it's not. Uh, you, it's not really something that you can count on, but, uh, you know, at 50, you certainly can, and with these two accessories. Uh, her jump stat is a 4, which is amazing. Uh, that's It's pretty rare uh, to have a character with a, such a good jump stat. Uh, and then she's actually got the, you know, the 5 movement, which is pretty standard as well. Uh, let's start talking about her abilities. So she just starts out with uh, Act Twice. So it says grant two actions during a single turn and can only move once. Um, this is this really is what makes Anna crazy. Um, you know, if she takes a big hit or something, you can always heal her, and then she can still attack even on that turn. Uh, throw poison is really nice because it's got a little bit of range to it. Uh, physical damage to a single enemy and has a chance to poison for three turns. Um, you know, poison is great, and she can actually use this on two separate characters during her turn, right? Like, if as long as they're close enough, uh, you can throw poison on two different enemies, and um, you know, kind of let the let the poison tick away. Excuse me. Um, next up here is take cover. Take cover is insane. Uh, so it says become invisible for two turns. Effect will be lost if you attack or stand directly in front of the foe. You can you can be invisible indefinitely if you want to. Uh, it just means that, you know, every other turn you use take cover. Uh, and it, you know, it does cost the 2 TP though, so uh, once you once you kind of run out of TP, um, you know, you, will, uh, you won't be able to take any other actions that use uh, TP if you want to remain invisible. So one of the things that you can do is go invisible, you know, for one turn. The following turn, don't do anything and just... I mean, just not, not take any actions against an enemy, and you'll stay invisible. Uh, and then the following turn, you can actually attack and then go back invisible again if you want. Um, so very, very uh, interesting, and, and there's some, some pretty cool things that you can do with her, right? So you can go invisible, sneak behind, you know, enemies, and then, I don't know, throw some poison, jump them, you know, do whatever you want, put them to sleep with slumber stab. Um, or just attack them and then go invisible, like you know, go invisible again, uh, and then kind of just repeat the process. It's kind of it's kind of fun. Um, Sir Mount says uh, move to an adjacent square with a height difference of uh, or within 15 units. Now, 
Surmount is actually free um, <clears throat> as long as you've got the uh, the weapon ability for it, which is very, very nice. Um, honestly, I didn't really think that it was all that great uh, towards the, the middle of the game because it's kind of tough to justify uh, spending one TP. Um, but again, at the uh, towards the end of the game, this gets significantly better and more useful when it's free. So uh, I guess keep that in mind. Uh, remain and recover, amazing skill for her. So it says recover HP when not moving or using commands on your turn. You can sit invisible, right? You can go invisible and then just sit there and you will just, you know, basically restore your health by just not moving uh, and not doing anything. So it works really, really well with take cover. Uh, slumber Stab. This is where we finally get into some really, really good utility. Now, I, I mean, poison is okay, but um, it's nowhere near as good as sleep. Uh, unfortunately, though, it does take the two TP. Uh, and I think end game this only i think this has about a 60 percent land rate usually on a normal enemy um it does it's not very strong either you notice it's only a uh, power of 101 um so not you know not fantastic but uh that's kind of again anna is more about utility than dealing you know just just damage um and she's great for setting up follow-up attacks that's that's kind of one of the things that i really like to do with her is um <clears throat> you know put well, I, you know, she makes a good combo with Sarah Noah because he has really, really good follow-up damage. So what you do is you have, you know, Sarah Noah standing next to an enemy and then Anna goes to the opposite side of it. And then she can trigger two follow-up attacks, right? If she, cause, because she's got act twice. Um, so very, very, uh, uh, you know, good for things like that. Um, next up is surprise attack. So it says increases damage dealt while taking cover. So basically when you pop out of, basically you stealth up, and then the first ability or the first attack that you do to an enemy deals more damage because of surprise attack. Um, you know, just a great passive synergizes well with her, and um, you know, not every passive in the game is amazing, but that one's solid. Uh, and then lastly, we've got uh, Deadly Blaze. I'll be honest, I I probably didn't really use Deadly Blaze maybe as much as I should, but uh, it's just so expensive, and uh, she's able to do so many other fun things with her TP that Deadly Blaze oftentimes just uh, doesn't end up really being worthwhile. So it says deal physical damage to a single enemy and lower their physical defense and magic defense for five turns. That is a great de debuff. I think it's really, really useful on bosses, right? Anything that um, <clears throat> is going to take you a while to take down uh, because five turns is a, uh, is a really long time. The power is actually really good too. That's her most powerful skill with 203. Oh, sorry about that. Um, all right, so uh, let's actually show Anna uh, in action. So this is long or a long trek, is it? What is the name of this one? Let me see here. A long trek, yeah. So this is a level fifty uh, uh, mental mock battle. Uh, so one of the things here that I'm going to do is actually just start out here. We'll use a um, what is this thing? I'll do an evasion spice just to kind of show you. I'll take this. What it's like to have good um, evasion. <laughs> and, you know, because she's got the two um, uh, the two two, uh, two items, let's just throw down some ice, too. So ice is uh, is great for her because, uh, or I guess was, is, is just this. great um, because it, it actually allow, or, uh, reduces enemy accuracy as well. Um, so, of course, this guy's going to run behind me and, and actually hit me. But there you have it. There's one dodge. Uh, this can, unfortunately, though, this is going to take a while because there's a ton of enemies in here. So, um, Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, let's see here. Let's throw another uh, ice stone down here. And then we'll just use... Uh, let's see here. Just use like a regular healing item here. I'll take this. Too obvious. Miss, Too miss, obvious. miss, miss. Time to work. Hello. <laughs> Too obvious. Too obvious. Oh, I finally took Might a hit. How dare you. All right, let's actually use some TP here. Let's throw poison on this guy. Too 
Um, so, my, uh, I think my most impressive battle uh, using Anna was um, fighting Edor, where I think she single-handedly uh, held the attention of five enemies, um, which was, which was like, that's like tank level, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I really like her. Uh, let's, let's throw one more poison, look at that. And so this is generally, I mean, kind of one of the crazy things that you can do here with Anna. Um, I don't know, a lot of fun. The evasion, again, as I said, actually gets really good at the end of the game. Uh-oh, and then she's getting low because she got nuked. Uh, which is uh, the issue with this strategy, right? Um, she uh, can't uh, really deal with magic uh, that well. I'll take this. Um, I mean, it, she doesn't have, like, horrible... Um, uh, you know, magic resistance by any means, but uh, let's... <laughs> oh shoot, did I use an item? I did. Uh, let's do that. I was ready to this. What? A wasted effort. Yeah, um, I don't know. Pretty good stuff. A wasted effort. Now, ideally I could bust out of here and then go uh, wreck that mage. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bother, but actually, yeah, let's, let me show you this. It doesn't have any TP, uh, so you can kind of afford to take, you know, uh, uh, hits like that uh, every once in a while, right? So really all I would need to do is heal up and then sit there again and uh, <laughs> and, and get back to dodging. So um, I don't know. That's It's pretty rare. You know, some of the other characters can do this as well. Again, it's, it's really the evasion ones. It's like Groma. Uh, Picoletta, Anna, and Milo can kind of tank them in that way. Uh, Anna is just, I think, honestly, just a little bit better because of her ability to use two items uh, per turn. Uh, throwing the ice down to reduce everybody's accuracy uh, really helps. And then on top of that, she can also just use an item to uh, heal up. So, um, you know, I would... Actually, let's see here. Let me see if there's a, a spot. Oh, of course, I've already gone kind of too far here. But let's do a fleet foot in here. I don't know if I can actually get down here, but yeah, I, I, I moved too far, unfortunately. But I was going to show you, we, um, so instead of, uh, you know, taking ladders to get to some of these places, sometimes you can just use surmount and get down to the bottom. I don't know if you can, you know, use that in this spot specifically. Actually, this might be too high, because I think surmount's got a, was that a 15, 15 height limit? Uh, so she might not actually be able to do that here, but there's a lot of other, uh, you know, areas in the game where you're, you're, you'll be fighting in like a canyon or something, and you can uh, use surmount to get out and up top, and you know, kind of mess with archers and stuff. So that's one of the better things I think for, uh, for Anna. Um, but yeah, anyways, all right, I'm, I'm actually gonna uh, get out of here, and I'll, we'll, we'll see the, uh, uh, the weapon skills, and I'll, I'll just kind of go over those and kind of like the build order, but. Uh, yeah, that's the that's one of the, the cooler things with Anna. And uh, unfortunately, though, this is this is end game uh, level, definitely level fifty, and with a couple of evasion bracelets, right? Uh, unfortunately, evasion just isn't uh, effective enough uh, earlier on to to really like count on it in that way. It's still good, like don't get me wrong, but uh, you really really need to get up into that, you know, the upper upper amounts of, uh, of, of agility, or I'm sorry, uh, of evasion to, to really be able to count on it, but, um, all right, let's take a look here, where is Anna, here's Anna, uh, so first here, obviously she's got the weapon damage, uh, I don't, I wouldn't build that first, uh, I would actually build the speed, I would, I would definitely upgrade that first, uh, and then I'd probably go with the accuracy, then the defense, uh, then the, the weapon potency, and I would finish off with HP last, and I should say that, this is really in, in terms of hard mode. Um, I, I think if you're playing on the, the easier difficulties, I mean, it's probably still decent advice, but I don't think it matters as much. I think you can get away with, obviously, a lot more uh, with lower difficulties. But um, <clears throat> So second tier, definitely get the speed uh, you know, upgrade. Uh, and so that's going to be a total of three speed that she'll get from her weapon upgrades. Uh, you know, and it's just amazing, and you'll, you'll really notice it. Uh, she'll just get turns constantly, and um, 
and she actually levels really quickly too because uh, of the fact that she gets two actions uh, on her turn. So, um, it you know, as long as you're not completely neglecting Anna, she will likely be your highest level uh, character for a probably probably the majority of the game. Um, next up, um, there's I think a case to be made for the back attack damage up, right? So this is increases damage dealt when attacking an enemy from behind. It's very, very easy to uh, take advantage of this, and certainly easier than it is with other characters. And if you're worried about, uh, you know, kind of leaving yourself open, what you can actually do is run around to the back of an enemy, attack once, and then, um, you know, uh, stealth, right? Or take cover. And um, that'll make it so that she's not, tar you know, hopefully not targeted as long as, you know, I don't know, an enemy doesn't, you know, run up right next to her, right? And, uh, and kind of break her out of stealth, but... Um, that's probably my build order, I would say. Again, I would do the speed, then I would go with the, the back attack damage. Then actually I would probably go with the physical defense and then the weapon upgrade, and then finish off with the surmount uh, TP reduction. I just don't think that this is good enough to merit uh, upgrading because of, again, because of materials though, right? You know, as you uh, upgrade more of this stuff, the materials get more and more expensive and you know, you don't really want to be sitting around and not having your back attack damage and and while you've already got the TP uh, reduction on surmount. Um, you know, again, I would definitely prioritize that last. Uh, lastly here, uh, you've either got uh, weapon damage up or the deadly blaze. It's probably worth it to do deadly blaze, although, again, I don't really use that that much, uh, but it is really good against bosses. That's, that's I think, where it's the most effective. Um, so, you know, I guess that's something to consider. Otherwise, just go with the weapon damage. Um, but that's going to be it for Anna. Again, I really like her. The, the double actions makes her amazing, uh, as well as the uh, insane amounts of evasion at the end of the game. Um, <clears throat> and also, she's very, very fast. So Anna has a lot going for her. But anyways, that is going to be it for this one. As always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.